Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Tamara Renee. So as you can see by the title of today's video, we are doing a get ready with me in Cancun birthday edition. Today is my actual birthday. Um, I decided to film this video because this makeup look, everything about this look is giving. It's September 14th. I turned 31. Love being a Virgo. Duh. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I tried to be as detailed as possible with this eyeshadow look. I really love how it turned out. The funny thing is, I was gonna do a basic, you know, simple brown, um, nude-ish type of soft glam look, but I said, you know what? We're gonna be a little bit different tonight. So we got this beautiful green dress and this beautiful purpley pinky eyeshadow look going on. All details, of course, will be in the description box below, so do check that out. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this entire look, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, so today is my birthday. We're gonna get ready for dinner. Quick get ready with me in Cancun. The girl is 31 years old, so um, we wanna hurry up. Don't wanna take too long, so my face, I already washed it, prepped it and everything. Um, but now I got to put on my serum, not my serums, but my primer and all that good stuff. So we're going to get started. I don't think I'll be talking much throughout this video because I do want to be done as quick as possible. To start off, I'll be going in with my Bobbi Brown as always. Oh, and we can address the elephant in the room. Your girl got short nails now. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And now I'm quickly going to do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in, and now for my foundation. You guys already know the combo that I love to use. This comes in handy for me every single time. Going in with my NARS in the shade New Caledonia. And this is the only foundation that I apply one pump on my forehead. This one just on my cheeks, one pump each. All right, then just to blend this out. So like I said, I'm in Cancun for my birthday. Today is September 14th, the girl turned 31. Let's go. So I'm here with my sister and... <gasps> Listen, I was moving, whoops, way too fast. Oh my God, what am I putting this? Looking at my rope, gotta make sure nothing is there. Before all of that happened, um, yeah, so I'm here with my sister. I've been wanting to go away for my birthday and I was gonna go somewhere else, but then last minute, just changed my mind, decided let's go to Mexico. Let's go to Cancun. And I'm loving it here so far. Um, we have one more full day left and then it's home time. So we came here on a Tuesday, today is Thursday, and we leave Saturday. Um, so we are actually staying at Breathless Cancun Sol. Is that what it's called? Something like that. And it's really nice here, beautiful and clean. The only thing I don't like is the beach. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm really not feeling the beach, but everything else is really, really nice. And um, I filmed a Get Ready With Me in Jamaica last month. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make this a series on the channel. Everywhere I travel to, we're gonna create a get ready with me. There's that, this is blended out. And I will say that my makeup has been hitting these last couple of days, like I just keep getting better and better at what I do. All right, so my brows are done. Going in with Maple, Too Faced Concealer on the lids and this is just to prep it to get it ready for the eyeshadow that I'll be putting on. And then I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier powder. Low key, it feels like I'm rushing. Okay. 
All right, so for today's makeup look, I'm not too sure what color I wanna put on, but I am gonna start off with a brown as my transition. Oh, and I'm using the Amrezy ABH eyeshadow palette. She's an oldie, but the colors in here are just so beautiful. You cannot go wrong, okay? So I think I'm gonna go in with 1988. It's a nice dark brown. And let me get close so y'all can see. Just gonna apply this in the crease. Y'all see that? And just blend this out. I know it looks like a lot, but I think I'm gonna put some color on the lids today because all along I've been doing, uh, well, last night I did like a gold smoky brown, gold smoky eye. Um, and that came out really, really nice. I actually filmed that video already on my channel. Um, I did that back in January and I decided to do that same look last night. And I've been filming a lot of TikToks while I was here. Um, I find creating content when I'm not home is, is more fun, you know, cause I'm somewhere else and change of scenery and everything. So I like that. So yeah, I filmed that look and it's on my TikTok. I filmed another look, which is also on TikTok. And I really love how that one turned out. It was so beautiful. If you ain't following me on there, y'all need to go follow me and check it out because that's where it's been. Um, tonight, I decided not to film a TikTok. And I don't know if I'm gonna kind of regret it because I am going to do a different eyeshadow look. Um, I was going to do a look I already did before. Just a simple brown with some sparkle shimmer on the lids, but I'm, I see this purple, it's called Cupcake, and she's calling my name. So I think I'm going to put that color on. So as you guys can see, I'm blending this brown out and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush. These are the only brushes, well not the only, but my go-to eyeshadow brushes because the blend out, the pickup and everything of these brushes, they're just amazing. Y'all hear any noise in the background? We got the TV on, and I think the DJ is outside playing some music. And plus, I wanna do some color because today's my birthday. Y'all, we're doing this on the spot. This better turn out good. Let me get this brush ready as well. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this pinky, it's not pink, but it's like a purpley color. Um. We're going to apply that somewhere on the lids, maybe like the crease, just to make it look more plummy. Maybe I should have went with this color first and only instead of adding the brown, but brown is my safe color, honestly. Oh, and this is a MAC 224S brush. You guys see that? This looks good. I'm adding this right in the crease. Yeah, this looks good. I'll probably have to film this again for TikTok, but when I get home. And now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful pinky shade right here. It's called Cupcake. I'm using this flat head brush. Y'all see that? This is a Morphe M167 brush. So I'm just going to place it in the color. Pat, pat, pat. We're just gonna pat it on the eye roll. This is pretty. I probably should have done my eyes first before putting on my foundation because I do feel some fallout. Oh no. But anyway, just take your time and pat this all over the lid. And I probably should have added that magenta color all over the lid as well. Let me do that right now. And this will serve as a base color to help the shimmer pop because it's not popping as much as I want it to without the pinky color first. Now to apply Cupcake. 
This is just to add some shimmer to the lid. I just remembered that I have tomorrow night, so maybe I can film this for TikTok. The thing is, I don't like filming a YouTube video and then cropping it for TikTok because it just waters the quality of the vertical style video. So for my TikToks, like my vertical style videos, I like to be very intentional by having my camera set vertically on the tripod opposed to it being horizontal. Because again, I do not want to crop. This is beautiful. So going back in with that magenta and just go right into the crease. All right, so now I'm going to complete the rest of my face, add my um, concealers, do my contour, bronzing, powder, set, all of that. I think I'm gonna fast forward through this part. The part, girl, I can't speak. Fast forward through this part because I don't wanna be wasting any more time. Like, I really just wanna be on a go, go, go. Cause it feels like my mind is somewhere else completely forgot I, that I usually blend out my contour first and it just works better for me this way. Then I'll blend out my under eyes. It's recording. Oh. Mm -hmm. I should leave that part in the video. I should. Ooh, okay. Is there anything that I'm gonna like? Yes, let's go. I want some pasta. Okay, I forgot we can check the menu from the tablet here. We might as well get everything off the menu. I'm gonna make sure that this is blended out. Got two sponges, one for the contour, one for the lighter shade of concealer, but I'm gonna go back with the contour sponge just to blend that out. Remove the harsh line. And then I'm going to bake immediately with my Laura Mercier in honey. And make sure you get in this corner of your nose. To set my contour, I'll be going in with my favorite bronzer. This is from Juvis Place in the shade 10. That's the palette. And we still going strong. We hit pan on both colors, but we still gonna make it work. So I like to dip it in both colors and then put it right on the contour and just go above the powder, the Honey Laura Mercier, to give it that smooth transition. You see the difference this side? Oh, this is one of my favorite parts or favorite steps of doing my makeup. I 
I also brought my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. I'm gonna apply some of that on my forehead, just a little bit. And also the jawline. Now going in with my MAC Studio Fix foundation powder in the shade NC50. Huh? When? You can start getting ready now. Okay, let me do that part again. Hmm. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC50, and I'm just going to apply that on top of this powder here. We still want a bright under eye, but we want to tame the color. My go-to blush, Juvia's Place Volume 1. And of course we have to set the rest of the face. I'll be using my Fenty, um, what is this? Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Why was it taking me so long to figure that out when it's right in front of me? Anyways, shade 445. And this is just an extra step. You don't have to do it, but you guys know me. I like to be a little bit extra when it comes to my makeup looks. Like I want my face to be flawless and everything. So I'll be going in with my, why does it feel wet? Child, what a, <laughs> um, Laura Mercier powder in Deep Honey. And I'm going in with this nice fluffy powder brush. It is a loose powder. Dip again, I just wanna make sure that the entire brush is covered with this powder. Now, I definitely could have skipped the Fenty and go in with this, you know, do either or, but I like to do both. I mean, it works for me. Going all over the face with this is just going to make everything blend in together. And look super duper flawless and nice on the skin. So for this next step, I do want to apply this pretty pink color right here in the tear duct area. I want it to be that extra pop. Yeah, this looks really good. It's more pop and more pink in person. And then I'm going to apply that dark brown on my lower lash line. Now, if you guys remember in my Jamaica Get Ready With Me, I was talking about setting, setting sprays. And I got the combo right here today with me for this entire trip. So start off with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I have my fan right here with me. After I spray this on, let it set with the uh, fan, I'm going to spray the one size. This right here is the bomb.com. And you wanna hold your breath for this one because She's powerful. Okay, y'all, so this is the look. I applied my lashes, as you guys could see. Um, I went in with this uh, Lily Lashes in the style Miami and they look really really nice I've been wearing them all week and I just love how they complement my eyes the looks and it's just everything I absolutely love them you know they're dramatic but they're subtle at the same time it's not doing too much but I absolutely love these lashes so now to move on to lips this is the last part that I have to do so as you saw I did remove some of that lip gloss out of my lips and now I'm gonna go with this uh, foundation sorry powder brush and just 
pat around the mouth like that to remove any shine from the lip gloss, any residue. So for this lip combo, um, I really love it. It's the only lip combo I've been wearing all week, even though I brought a whole bunch of lippies with me. Why, I don't know. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I've been using these two lip liners. One is from uh, Makeup Forever. This is Limitless Brown, and I have Charlotte Tilbury in Foxy Brown. So I'm gonna go in with my Limitless Brown first and outline my lips. And now I'm going to lightly fill with Foxy Brown. And I'm going in with my favorite lipstick at the moment. This is the Patrick Ta in Oh She's Single. And then to gloss this up, of course, I'll be using my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. This is the Fenty Glow. Is it Fenty Glow? Gloss Bomb. That's what it is. Sorry. Gloss Bomb. It's not the heat one. I don't like the sensation, the feeling on my lips. I've been mixing up the names of the lip glosses. Like, what the hell? Fenty Glow is an actual shade that I also have. I don't remember if I brought it with me, but this is Hot Chocolate. You're gonna see how this looks, how this is gonna transition the look. Ah. Oh. Y'all, this is the look. Ooh, okay, let's get dressed. Okay, so we're dressed, finally. I was having a bit of trouble with accessorizing. I wish I figured this out before, but I think I figured it out. So I put my hair up in a high bun. I thought it was best, especially with the neckline of this dress. Um, I was contemplating on if I wanted to wear a necklace or not, but due to the strap just being over here on the dress, um, I felt like my neck was a bit empty. And these earrings are not long dangly style earrings because if they were longer, more of a drop earring style, I wouldn't go with a necklace. So there's that. So we're gonna get into the jewelry real quick. Hold on. So um, I'm all glittered up and everything. Time to go in with some fragrance, fragrances. Um, so I got my Hermes Twilly. This is ginger as always. This is the latest fragrance from YSL called Myself. And when I tell you guys, this smells so, so, so good. But when I mix these two together, it's everything. Going in with Tully first. Mm-hmm. Now myself. These are my Bottega dupes from Amazon. I love them so much. We got this gorgeous necklace. This is from Zara. This is a recent purchase. Um, this ring right here is also from Zara, but I've had it for a while. The rest of my rings, they're from Amazon and a mix of uh, Shein. And we got these bangles here, got the bigger style, also from Shein. And of course, we cannot forget the number one item. This dress, I'll insert a photo, is from Shein, okay? I saw the green and I thought this is so pretty. This color green reminds me of the Grinch, okay? But I really love um, this dress. And of course, style it up with some gold accessories. Um, gold heels, gold bag. The bag is from Zara and the heels, they're from ASOS. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this is the final look. I'm about to go have me my birthday dinner. Um, super duper excited for the restaurant that my sister and I were gonna be going to. Um, I won't be sharing anything else. You have to watch the vlog. Of course, I'm vlogging. All other details that you may have questions about, I don't know, will be included in the vlog. But of course, if it's not included in the vlog, then drop the comments below and I will certainly answer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be notified whenever I upload a video so you never miss a video. And also drop your comments below. Follow me on Instagram at Tamara Renee. Follow me on TikTok at Tamara.Renee and keep up with me on my blog at www.tamararenee.com even though I haven't been updating her, but like still.
Anyways, I'm 31, I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful to be here today because not a lot of people see the age 31, but I'm here and I give God all praise and I'm just so grateful, filled with a lot of gratitude and I'm just overall happy to be here in Mexico. So yes, be sure to stay tuned and watch the vlog, it will certainly be up after this video. But I love you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video, bye.